Coming up, caught on camera. A heart-stopping moment for a family that stuck his neck out for something and it was all because of a safari drive in Texas. Also coming up, the shark bite capital of the world has been named and it's right here in the United States. A little bit later on, Peter Parker might have a little competition in Gotham. The flying creepy crawly with eight legs that has set to invade New York. Oh my goodness, we're about to invade your screens right now. Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm oh, Andrea man. Jackson sitting here with a bunch of nerds. Nerds. Gotham is Chicago. Nerds. Uh, it's Metropolis also is New, New York. York. It is Matt. New York. And Spider Man is ne Spider Man's in New York. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so, yeah, but we, you can call New York's nickname was called Gotham. Yes. No, no. Yes. Gotham yes. was always yes. supposed yes. to be yes. Chicago. Before yes. you were Metropolis born. Metropolis is New York. Gotham in, is in our world, maybe, yeah. but Gotham, people call They New shot York all the Dark Knight movies in Chicago because Gotham is Chicago. Okay. All right, well, I'm sorry, back well, in the 1930s and whatever, they used to call it, they used to call New, well, York, New York Gotham. Gotham. Okay, well, the, I mean, grab, grab your crap and No, no, teach your own. Are we about to, are we about to debate New York. different DC so. universe versus Marvel? Spider-Man went to Gotham. No, I, I did. Oh, Superman my. went to Gotham a couple okay. times. I get you. Okay. I get you, man. We'll get the uh, Marvel DC <laughs> map out for us yeah. and discuss it later. Right. Uh, hey, you buddy. How are you? You know, I'm hanging out, doing well. Uh, you know, been to Gotham lately? I've not been to Gotham. <laughs> looking for Gotham. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it is there. <clears throat> What's going on with you? So, tacky request, a bride and groom say, look, we've been living together for 10 years. We're getting married. We don't need any wedding gifts. We've got everything we need. We just want you to give us cash so we can put together a really nice honeymoon. Okay. Well, a lot of the invitees were pretty offended by this request to just give them cash. So they're like, wait a second, what's the problem with that? Rather than the gifts, why don't you just give us the cash? I can I can kind of get that, um, but your common law marriage, if you're together for a decade, pretty uh, much as it is, right? Yeah, right. Um, but, you know, they have websites where, or like, you know, part of your, Matt, you probably even know That's this. what we did. Yeah, yeah. yes. You Matt can, you, like, you can, if you want to buy stuff, but they also have like a section that's like $300 for us to go uh, to, scuba diving yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Well, Maybe well, we they did, could have parsed it out that way. We asked true. for honeymoon home and house. Look, both of us are in our late 30s when we got married. We already have toasters. Well, we actually so you did get a new toaster, <laughs> but anyway, but we, but the thing we we decided we don't want stuff, we want experiences. Okay. And now it's taken us a minute to get our thank you notes out. I'm sorry because I put a photo collage to send out with the thank you oh, notes nice. um, from the honeymoon that everybody helped us go do, and you know. That's, that's what we decided. You know, I, it was just a better thing. But and then, did you ask straight up for just cash? For cash we said money. honeymoon, home, and house. And there okay. were a couple items, but we were like, hey, we're going on this badass honeymoon you know, but, over but, to Greece. But with the honeymoon, did like Mitch said, did you say, hey, for $300, we can take advantage no, just, of this experience? No, it was just an just overall, like, you know, hey, we're, we'll, we'll take care we'll of the spend thing. We'll the way we want. Right, exactly. I, I, I think if uh, Liza's family asked for it, they, they would happily give him cash. But they, get, my side, if, they, Mitch, we know how you are with money, so no. <laughs> If, if, yeah. you're, if your soon-to-be wife asks, I don't know if it's tacky, but uh, I think it's they are looking, you know, for you know, first off, do you need like a wedding if, if you're together for ten years? That's it's kind of like thing, it's not really anything right? new. And yeah. I and I and I can appreciate them not asking for gifts because they've got everything they need. But if they've been together for ten years and they're established, and let's just say they've got everything they need, shouldn't they be able yeah. to afford their own honeymoon? I, I think by that point, it's almost like an anniversary yeah. if you get married. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> you know? exactly. Uh, I, that, that would be interesting. I, I probably, it would be easier for me because I'm like, all right, they just want money. I'm not yeah. going to sit, I would probably spend more on a gift than I would have cash, yeah. I guess. I and then I, I saw another story where I, where a gal was late to give the, the bride a gift, so she sent her a gift card, I think a month after the fact. Now, I've always been told you have a year after yeah, the I wedding to give a gift. Well, this, this person sent her her bride a $100 gift card and the bride sent it back and was outraged because she's like, if you can't fork over more than a hundred bucks and send me a tacky oh, gift card, wow. I don't want it. Oh, I was like, a, okay, really? that's a that's a bad one right that there. Right? That's a, they, just be this appreciative. after you've spent thousands of dollars traveling back and forth yeah. to go to this woman's wedding, to be a bridesmaid, to go to the bridal shower and the you know, the whole shebang. It's like this stuff costs money. 
So they say uh, you find out uh, who your friend is when they get married. Is that yes. Right? And you find out who you married when you get divorced. <laughs> right? oh, that's a great you, you, you know everybody. Yes. Who, that, that's the, the truth is the real self is basically going yeah. to come out. All right. Uh, we'd love to hear what you have to th- say mm-hmm. about this. You could drop us an email at flash at dailyflashshow.com. Let's jump into the show. Pretty terrifying moment. A family, they were on one of those drive through safari parks in Texas. Mm-hmm. We have video of this. You want to watch your screen. Family toddler, toddler was in the back of their pickup truck, feeding the animals. A giraffe leans in, grabs a bag of food along with their t-shirt. Oh. Look at that. And you can see the giraffe actually lift right up into the oh air, the little baby. The uh, woman in the car heart. behind their truck caught the terrifying moment on camera. The video shows the giraffe drop the toddler right back into her mother's arms. Uh, a few moments later, the mom said she believes it was an honest mistake on the part of the giraffe, uh, which immediately <laughs> let go and let the daughter. Uh, which bad giraffe. It. It's a bad giraffe. So, yeah, it, it probably, I mean, they you got pop big. It on the nose first over your neck. It's hard to yeah. see that far away when you go down. But. So she's got a bag of food. She's feeding the animals. Have you ever been to one of these? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, you don't. They tell you you can't have your windows rolled down. You're not supposed to be in a convertible. And you're not supposed to be in the back of a pickup truck because you have wild animals that you are looking at. So you're, I mean, I'm sorry, nobody bothered to bring that point up, but if no, you've been right. through any one of them, you're not supposed to cruise through in a convertible or at the back of a pickup truck or with the windows rolled and, down. You know, and there's been also reports of the animals charging cars, hitting yes. the cars. I, I just, I know, do we need them? Do we need, and first of all, we're just driving through, looking at them, the yeah. rubbernecking these animals. Like, look, we're, we're trying I've, to live here. Can you guys just leave us? <laughs> I've done the safari at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom and there was a rhino that was pretty upset and the truck, because you're in this big safari yeah, truck yeah. but the truck driver was being like all right guys we're gonna go a little slow past this guy right yeah. here because he was getting he was getting angry yeah. also there was this documentary called jurassic park and we no, saw what not happened not there no, when the animals that were that, that close they, fiction. that was fiction oh, thought, and yeah. that's another place that's not real matt <laughs> Gotham. Gotham and uh, Metropolis. Metropolis. <laughs> Chicago, New York. Uh, look, parts of Florida are considered shark bite territory. One area has oh, been yeah. named shark bite capital of the world. Recently, a woman lost part of her arm and two other teens were hospitalized after back-to-back shark encounters in the Florida Panhandle. The international shark attack file identified the area around Daytona Beach, scoring the highest number of recorded encounters anywhere across the globe. 351 unprovoked encounters have been identified since record keeping started back in 1837. Florida, which has the longest coastline in the Great 48, has seen a whopping 928 run ins with sharks, followed by Hawaii with 195, California with 138, and South Carolina with 118. New York reported 24 in the same time frame. The shark file contains data from 1,600 shark encounters in the U.S., going back almost 200 years. As for other countries and how they rank, the U.S. is first, wow. followed by Australia with 700, then South Africa with more than 250. I think Australia's number is lower because they fight back against against the sharks. I think that might be something, right? Uh, yeah, up in the Florida Panel, three people in just one week and uh, they had released a video. A guy was on a, a jet ski and uh, a shark came up to his jet ski and was really aggressive with him. Matter of fact, they shut down the beach altogether to say, look, you, there's no purple flag. You're not going out in the ocean at all because of sharks. And, and what people are not, uh, whenever you go into the water anywhere in Florida, there is a shark with in a mile radius, yes. number one. All right, mm-hmm. and they and you can only tell them from the skies and that mm-hmm. sort of thing. So you know you just got to be smart and you know stay away from them. Uh, and it's we're on their territory, much like we're going through those safaris. With the <laughs> with the Panhandle attack, they said uh, that it happened within a four mile radius yes. along the coastline. So they believe it was the same shark involved in all three encounters. Bruce, I bet yeah. you. This other there. documentary yeah. called Jaws talked about no, this. See, that's not real. No? Yeah, they, that was in New York. They had to close Amity, the beaches. Amity was, is a real place, but yeah. it's not a true story. And we're just going to need a bigger boat. Peter Parks uh, got company in Gotham. It's not Gotham, he's in New York. <laughs> All right. There's an invasive, invasive species of spider that's actually taken in uh, Gotham. The experts say that they actually could fly through the air just like the Spider-Man. Residents in New York and New Jersey bracing for the Oro spider. It's a giant venomous species, has eight legs, hence a spider. They use their silk webs to make balloon shapes. Uh, also uh, available at parties too for kids. <laughs> Uh, that allow them to parachute the air. Oh my. You can uh, miss their bright and yellow. You can't miss their bright and yellow, gray colors. Oh. Experts say the Northeast climate is a perfect home for those flying creepy crawlies. They've been spotted hanging from telephone poles, street nope. lamps. Burn. They are venomous. Experts say they're not lethal to uh, humans or 
pets. They prefer to eat other spiders and insects. I love spiders. I really do. I'm not burn the house down. Mm -hmm. I, nope. But I wouldn't go up and touch mm -hmm. one. No. Just to, I'm mean, like mm -hmm. if like if the, the, I was the one in the building, like in the studio. If hey, there's a spider, and I just go get it. Yeah. But these types, you got to stay yeah. away from them. Uh, the huntsman though, spider. Have you ever seen I, those? It's, oh, isn't it huge? Yeah. Huge. Speaking of yeah. Australia, right? That's yeah, like murder exactly. dream stuff. Yeah. We got a funny comedian. His name's Dave Hill. He's hanging out with us. We're gonna find out what's the latest with him coming up right here on Daily Flash. Hey, welcome back to The Big Show. I'm Mitch English. Our next guest is a New York-based comedian and musician. His name's Dave Hill. We got a clip of him doing some stand-up at Union Hall in Brooklyn. Check this out. I often get mistaken for a woman. This is true, and I know a lot of you are like, oh, come on, Dave, I don't see that at all. But some of you are like, actually, I can kind of see that, Dave. And I don't know if it's because of my delicate features or my casual elegance or I kind of have mom hair like it's like not long but it's still pretty fun and like well suited for the on the go lifestyle like dropping kids off at soccer practice or like putting on a really fun last minute pizza party basically whatever you need done I could totally get it done with this haircut and it's true, it happens like every couple months or so I get mistaken for a woman which is a lot when you consider the fact that I Technically, I'm a man. And usually it'll happen, I'll be out at a restaurant with a, with a fully functioning woman, and the waiter will come over and just be like, can I get you ladies anything to drink? Or I'll be at the grocery store and I'll go to the cashier, and, and they'll just say, oh, did you find everything you're looking for, man? And then in either case, they don't go like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry, like, I thought you were a woman, but clearly, clearly you're a man. They very quickly just call me sir as if I'm not gonna notice at all. <laughs> that up until a second ago, they totally thought that I lived my life as a woman. And it's fine, I'm not mad, it doesn't hurt my feelings, I don't feel sorry for myself. But I do feel sorry for the woman they imagine me to be. <laughs> I love it, man. It's probably, I'm wondering, Dave, joining us right here on Daily Flash, it might be, because I get it all the time, it's the lapel pins. Do you think that might be, that might be something that might be, go it along with be. maybe thinking? I don't know. It might be. I don't know. It's been, it's been happening for years and years. I love it. It, hap it truly happens all the time. I, I, I love I think it. it is a compliment, ultimately. Well, there you go. Uh, you know, and I love that comedians actually, you know, the, the way that they can find their humor. How would you best describe, like, what kind of comedian you are if somebody has not seen you? Oh, I don't know. Just uh, an idiot. Just having <laughs> fun. Just, I don't know. Basically, I haven't progressed since I was 15, mentally. And you know, I just, you know, now I take that all over the world. You're making money off of it. Everything that your teachers said that you couldn't do, now you can make cash off of it, too. I think that's kind of a, a exactly. common thread, I'm I think, with comedians. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, 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 it's the inner child. And then you, as, as you're looking around at the world and just really realizing just how ridiculous actually the world can actually be. And, uh, you know, we're in a different age and time right now with, with comedy. And I, I appreciate now people are kind of fighting back against a whole lot of political correctness and kind of opening up in that. You think this is going to be good or bad for, for comedy? Uh, what, the current... Uh, the current world that we're in? Well, basically just the fact that people are getting too politically correct, and it's our comedians in the world that are actually saying, you know what, we need to step back from being so PC and maybe uh, and not worried about getting canceled and maybe uh, thinking that there's a full world out there. Do you think that this actually could be helping America or could it hurt us on the, in the long run? Well, I mean, the, the thing, you know, people always talk about this, with comedians, like, oh, we can't say what we want, but I'll tell you who's not talking. I have no comedians. We never talk about this with each other. I think it's a, it's not a real thing, uh, honestly. Yeah. I, comedians can say whatever they. I think whatever you want to say and whatever you want to talk about, there's going to be an audience for it, and um, you know. So I, I think it's. I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't think it's that much of a thing. Uh, I think you can kind of do what you want to do. So you, you, you might be more like the media, or people like myself, too, kind of just saying there's a, there's a bigger problem. It's not as big as a problem as we're actually making it. And the com comedians are there, are just there, kind of like our mirror to make us realize, hey, let's just have some fun and laugh. Yeah, I mean, you know, 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, I, th I think it's more just uh, something to talk about with other people. But comedians don't really talk about it, honestly. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I would love to sit down and just see what a, like a normal day would be. Uh, let's jump on to about, you're very multi-talented by all means, uh, a musician as well. You were just on tour with Tenacious D. That has to be a fun experience, uh, getting up on stage and performing there. Where all did you, uh, were you able to tour with them? Yeah, it was, I mean, they're, they're the best and the, the best, uh, the best guys, best band, but their whole crew, everyone's just amazing. Uh, I did the South with them last September and then we just got back from I did Dublin and the UK with them and it was it was an absolute blast there's yeah there's me and uh Kyle Gass there my buddy are you and, are uh, you on bass you play bass right no I play guitar, guitar so okay. I uh, but I, you know I I opened for them and then uh Kyle was was nice enough to uh come out and play play the recorder with me during part of my set, so to you know, take things to the next level. I so, love that. That's cool. Yeah, it was a total blast. We did uh, sold out arenas every night, which was totally crazy. I'd be in my dressing room before you know each show, completely panicking. But then you go out there and it's just fun. Um, you know, as soon, as soon as the lights go down, you go out there on stage. It's, it's all. You're up there. Is it is it harder? Like you know, we, we, you know, I don't want to put the two, but like when you're when you're a comedian, you're up there by yourself, but you have a group together. There is there a little bit of strength in numbers that kind of helps you keep the flow going, or, or do you get to take all the recognition when you're on stage by yourself? And on that tour, it's, uh, John Spiker, their bass player, and Scott Siever, their drummer, would come out and join me. Um, yeah, but there's always, I mean, because you know, I I started playing in bands before I went into comedy, and there's definitely like way more comfort being out on stage with uh with with your friends than there is you know being all alone uh, and but you know i think having the guitar is helpful in uh you know you have this big hunk of wood that can double as a weapon if things get real yeah if things go downhill you have a big hunk of wood to protect yourself there so. you go dave thank you so much for joining us you can check out more go to dave hill online instagram it's mr dave hill he's got a new book out it's called the awesome game available everywhere Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. You know, dads, like, well, we love tech. We also love our dads. So let's find someone that actually can tell us some great Father's Day gift ideas that, of course, our very own father of all cool tech, gadgets, and more, Dr. Frank Vigiano. Hey there, Dr. Frank. Hey, Mitch. How are you? I am great. I'm following your advice, and I'm, I'm on my Apple a day, every day, all right? So I'm doing Atta good. Boy. You know, good. Dad, uh, you good. got some great products coming up here and some great gadgets. You know, one thing that dads, we always say, I want some peace and quiet around here. You say not so much because you got something that maybe dads can jam out to, and no one will really know. Tell us about this thing. Absolutely, Mitch, yeah. Uh, Anthem just introduced the MRX SLM audio video receiver. It'll certainly enhance dad's or grab's audio experience. Anthem is a leader in audio vision. MRX SLM is compact, powerful, and very sleek, Mitch. It can fit behind the flat screen. Isn't wow. that amazing? That's cool. Yeah, in a rack. You can put it in a rack. You can put it in a cabinet, just about anywhere. But the fact is it's so small, it fits wherever you need it to be. It's a fraction of the size of the bulky receivers, but delivers pure high-fidelity sound. Streaming options include Apple AirPlay, Google Cast, and Bluetooth. And Anthem is kicking off their Dads and Grads summer sale with an unprecedented 20% off, Mitch, of their MRX and AVM AK models. The offer is valid in the U.S. and Canada. To learn more, visit AnthemAV.com. Wow. And that thing is slim, man. That thing is like, oh, very small. Look at this, man. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, pick it up a little bit higher. Let me see. Let me see it. Oh, look at there. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that can fit behind a TV. Very, very sure cool. Sure can. All right. Very uh, cool. All right. Now, listen, Dad, uh, we need to clean the air about Dad. And for Dad as well, you have something that actually could do both of those things, right? <laughs> Absolutely, Mitch. The sharp plasma cluster air purifiers are incredible. According to the EPA, inside air can be up to five times more polluted than outside air. Some models are compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant and can monitor home air quality remotely with a Sharp Air mobile app. Sharp has a triple filter system, Mitch, has a washable pre-filter, perhaps dust, a carbon filter that helps reduce household odors, 
and a true HEPA filter, which is high efficiency particulate for air. Sharks plasma cluster ion technology disperses ions for active cleaning and has proven effective in reducing 99.97% of dust, pollen, mold, bacteria, and viruses. Mitch, you want to look for certifications by CARB, the California Air Resources Board, and AHAM. For more information, go to shop.sharpusa.com. All right. How can we make sure, though, of course, Dad doesn't complain about the AC bill? You got a gift for that, don't you? Oh, we sure do, man. It's Mr. Cool, and it's the first DIY gutless HVAC system. It's a do-it-yourself HVAC system for all seasons, Mitch. It has pre-charged line sets, which allow quick connections. Single zone or multi-zone units are available for two to five rooms in your home. The air handler can be wall-mounted or ceiling-mounted with a new ceiling cassette. And what's interesting is you can change the filter. It's so easy because you have access to it. It's America's only true do-it-yourself HVAC system wow. with no special tools or ductwork needed. The new fourth generation units have a smartphone app, voice controls, and Energy Star certification. They start around $1,700. Make sure you check for rebates and visit MrCoolDIY.com. All right. Well, you're our Mr. Cool. How about that? Uh, you want to make sure that we can get a hold of you at any time. And you've got, uh, of course, the phone that will do just that. Tell us about it. Yeah, Mitch, this is really cool. It's by Kiyosera. It's the DuraForce Pro 3. It's a smartphone, but it's also durable. This is what's so different about it. It has fast wireless charging and a removable battery, which most phones don't. It's great for outdoor enthusiasts, has a scratch and shatter resistant display, glove and wet touch screen operation, and you can drop it from five feet onto concrete, nothing happens. Wow. It's waterproof up to 6.5 feet for 30 minutes, has super night vision, it has a wide angle lens and a macro camera. For more information, go to kiosiramobile.com. All right. Finally, Dad would just love to cruise in style. Tell us about this, uh, this hybrid SUV, man. Oh, man, this is amazing, Mitch. It's by Hyundai. It's their Santa Fe Hybrid. And the Santa Fe Hybrid is a completely redesigned three-row hybrid SUV. It has excellent fuel efficiency. The range magnets. 602 miles on a full tank of wow. gas with the battery. Yeah, it's amazing. It boasts many advanced safety and driver assist features like safe exit assist. Its off-road capabilities are amazing. And the new boxy rugged shape redefines Santa Fe's persona. It's basically very fun to drive. And there are two panoramic color screens in the dash, an optional UV tray, and two wireless phone chargers for no more wire clutter. The Santa Fe Hybrid would be the ultimate gift for your dad or your grad, and they start at $36,950. Visit HyundaiUSA.com or your local Hyundai dealer. Very good. Dr. Frank, you did it. Thank you so much. And, of course, you at home, if you want to look over any of this stuff, we'll have that information. You can check out what's up, drfrank.com or just check out our website, dailyflashshow.com. Happy Father's Day, Dr. Frank. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everybody. I'm Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. All righty. Uh, this is the time of year for dads and grads. <laughs> <laughs> favorite but this, oh, it grates <laughs> my soul. Uh, one graduate at of... Uh, Astronaut High School in Titusville, Florida. Which, so cool. Wouldn't you just love to go to Astronaut yeah. High School? Uh, it's in Titusville. Um, she was valedictorian um, and obviously very proud of her. So were her parents, by all means, and so were her sisters. And the reason why their sisters are very proud of her because her sisters, three of them, were also valedictorians <gasps> at their high school really? in, in successive years. Now, you imagine the pressure that's on this oh, girl. Her oh, name is yeah. Riley Rendina. She is uh, graduated from the astronaut uh, high school, home of the fighting war eagles. War eagles. Which makes no sense. I, 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 seems you're like an astronaut rockets. high school and you're a war eagle. <laughs> Why would you be a eagle. Martian or something? She's going to go to University of Florida and study biomedical engineering. Oh, uh, smart she, cookie. Right. And um, her sisters were also valedictorians, as I had mentioned. And her, their parents say, listen, I, we taught all of our girls to be independent and have a strong work ethic. Aww. Not only did uh, Riley uh, 
she had 800 hours of community service wow. and also an athlete, a student athlete. So that says a lot about her. The odds of having four kids that are all valedictorians, yeah. one in 11 billion. Wow. So that's, that, that's pretty crazy numbers if you think about it. That's fantastic. At Astronaut High School, the coolest school for my son went to uh, Carter. He went to Millennium Middle School. Uh -huh. It's up here in, in, and their mascot, the Falcons. Okay. The Millennium Little Falcons. Falcon. Is oh, that the coolest, oh, that's cool. freakest thing in yeah, the world? Probably. Yes. Probably. I mean, I, yeah, Carter I know. could have been his own mascot. I mean, Carter, my so. son, yes. And I was like, why don't you guys sell shirts? I oh, would buy them. The Millennium yes. Falcons. Yes. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah. Well, a terrifying moment for a family who was at a drive through safari park in Texas. The family's toddler was in the back of her family's pickup truck feeding animals when a giraffe leaned down, grabbed the bag of food. Look at that along with her t-shirt. Well, you can see the drop lift her right up into the air. A woman in a car behind their truck caught the terrifying moment on camera. The video shows the giraffe dropped the toddler right back into her mother's arms a few moments later. The mom said she believes it was an honest mistake on the part of the giraffe, which immediately let go of the daughter when she yelled at it. Now, can you imagine this little girl, what she's gonna think about for the rest of her life? Uh, because she'll have no recollection of this at all. Hence, why are you in the back of the truck to show her everything? Just black <laughs> coming at you in your yeah, big old, like, yeah. they're, they're like purple black too yeah, they're nasty looking black even. tongue you thought Don't it'd be a started. good idea to get in the back of a truck. You're right. And I know, like, it's illegal, I know, uh, to drive around in the back of a truck yeah. to, to do something as dangerous as that because of the fact that these animals are wild. Here's a great idea. Let's take the family to the safari park with giraffes and rhinos yes. and lions. And let's put the, the youngest kid in the back of the pickup truck with mom with a bag full of snacks and maybe a cooler full of meat. Yeah, that's right. a great idea. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I see nothing. I mean, that's family nothing entertainment wrong. right there. So I've been to the, there, there's a great uh, drive through Safari Park uh, south of Orlando. Uh, it's terrific. And I've been to Lion Country Safari, which is down south, closer to Palm Beach. Okay. Both great parks, but they specifically say to you, no convertibles, don't roll yeah. your windows down, and nobody can sit in the back of a pickup truck. I know the San Diego Zoo has something similar to that up in yes. Escondido. Yes. I used to live right next to mm -hmm. it. And I was like, wow, I, that's where the zoo is. Yeah. Like, where do these guys get fruit? But yeah. Uh, yeah, just a dumb idea in the first place. So uh, <laughs> parent of the year there, I'm sorry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, oh God, Gosh, it was just yeah. stupid thinking. We stay in Florida where uh, <clears throat> parts of Florida, at least, are shark bite territory. Mm -hmm. One area has actually been named shark bite capital of the world. Recently, a woman lost part of her arm. Two other teens hospitalized <gasps> after back-to-back -back shark attacks. That happened up in the Florida Panhandle. Now, the International Shark Attack File identified the area around Daytona Beach, which is on the uh, e uh, east coast. coast of Florida, scoring the highest number of recorded encounters anywhere across the globe. 351 unprovoked encounters have been identified since 1837. Now, Florida has the longest coastline. We know that right here, the Great 48. Uh, 928 run-ins with sharks. Hawaii at 195, Cali 138, South Carolina 118, wow. and even in New York they reported 24, all in that same time frame. So if you think about it, uh, this is going back over 200 years. Still the numbers, and mm -hmm. for that one week up in the Florida Panhandle, three attacks. You know why they're doing it? Shark Week starts shark week. in three oh. weeks, so it's a preview. Is that what it they're is? Just getting ramped up for Shark Week. Stick around. We got more Flash coming up. On Monday, July 8th, at the Tennessee Titans training facility in Nashville, Tennessee, LG Electronics USA renewed its multi-year strategic partnership with the Tennessee Titans. During the ceremony, Titans COO and team alumni, including legendary Titans Javon Kurse and Keith Bullock, presented a game ball and jersey to LG Electronics US CEO Chris Jong. This highlighted how the partnerships will continue to allow the organizations to provide support to local businesses, drive economic growth, and provide curated family-friendly programs and events. It's an exciting day today in Tennessee for LG as we just signed this morning our ex contract extension with the Titans that'll allow us to continue to do great collaborations with them that not only benefit the fans, but also benefit the greater Tennessee community. We're excited to just, as, as LG continues to invest in Nashville and greater Tennessee community itself, to continuing um, to grow our partnership between the organizations and really with a focus around service and, and the people of Tennessee. Amazing. The big exciting part for us is that LG is a great partner, uh, not just to the Tennessee Titans, but to this entire community, to the state. Their principles fit our principles exactly. 
this partnership um, allows both um, parties to be present and give back in the community by creating jobs and focusing on that aspect of community help. The Titan's value are aligned with the LGs. And uh, we are proud to join forces to celebrate life's good, to give back to community together, and bring joy to the people of Tennessee. We're working with Titans and LG. Why Titans and LG? Because it makes a perfect team, just like we made the Titans perfect team back in the days. So we also, in celebration of the Tennessee Titans contract, did a special celebration event called Titans Day here at our Clarksville, Tennessee factory where we make washing machines and dryers. Uh, so all of the employees, there's over 900 of them, they were able to meet with Javon Kurse and Keith Bullock, two stars of the Titans. And it was really a good opportunity for all of our employees to meet them, engage with them. They couldn't have been nicer. Uh, it was just an all around great day for the, the folks here at LG. With summer travel in focus, we've got a crash course on snacking tips to help fuel your vacation days with ease. Thanks for having me. Uh, so we're, we're going to talk about that, how important it is to get snacks that make sense from a health status and energizing status as well while we're traveling. And this is a question I get all the time from my patients. So it's really critical that we're choosing the right smart snacks. So I absolutely love the Quest Dip Chocolate Peanut Butter Bars, 18 grams of protein, 3 grams of net carbs one gram of sugar. It's got that chocolatey coating, the peanut butter flavor. My kids love this, but it's super convenient, easy to just throw in your car, your bag, wherever you're going, just an easy one to consider. I also like some of the more convenient options that we find at the store in terms of guacamole, peanut butter, hummus. You can get those individual snack containers of them, or you can get a larger container and then pack your own little bento boxes. So having everyone have their own bento box means everyone gets a say in what they're eating, much more likely to eat it if they have some buy-in with it. And then we're gonna pair that with things that are high in antioxidants, high in fiber, fresh fruit, popcorn, whole grain crackers. Now we're combining the healthy fats and the fiber. The fiber is really key because as we get out of the normal routine, the normal household, our bathroom habits can change and we don't want that to ruin our vacation or our long drive. So getting fiber to keep us regular is really essential as well. And then finally, what do we have when we're feeling sluggish? Well, oftentimes we think about a cup of coffee, but we have options now from Quest that make it so much easier to get the caffeine in a delicious manner that gives you protein as well. So the Quest iced coffees are amazing. 10 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. For more information, you can go to questnutrition.com, Amazon, and retailers nationwide. Attention Daily Flash fans. Ever dreamt of being part of the action? Now's your chance. Join our exclusive virtual audience and experience the show like never before. Get a special credit on the show, interact with our fabulous hosts, chat with producers, and guess what? Some lucky participants might even find themselves on a massive billboard in iconic locations like New York's Times Square, Los Angeles' Sunset Strip, Miami, or Atlanta. Don't miss out on this electrifying opportunity. Sign up now by heading over to blyzeal.com and be a star with the Daily Flash virtual audience. What's the easiest and best way to update your beauty game this summer? Beauty editor Cheryl Kramer K joins us with a scoop on the latest in DIY hair color. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for having me. I'm here with something brand new from L'Oreal Paris that gives you the best color of your life, and you do it at home. L'Oreal Paris was the inventor of permanent hair color, and now they've reinvented the at-home color category. This is the Color Sonic, a revolutionary device that reminds me actually of a high-end espresso machine, but instead of making coffee, you're coloring your hair. You just pick, pop, and press. Pick your shade, pop in the cartridge, and press the button. It mixes the dye and developer automatically, and then the color comes out through the bristles, mess-free and freshly brewed every time. Then all you have to do is brush the tool through your hair. The moving bristles adjust their speed to distribute the perfect amount of color for your hair type, your thickness, curl pattern, length, and texture. The entire process, whether you're just doing your roots or going from root to tip, takes just five 
minutes. It's an incredibly innovative tool that took 10 years to develop and perfect and has over 29 patents. It was also actually named a Best of Innovation Award honoree at the Consumer Electronics Show and one of Time Magazine's Top 100 Inventions. There are 20 gorgeous shades to choose from with the help of a L'Oreal color quiz. And the formula gives you rich, high shine color and 100% gray coverage. Perfect for women like me whose gray roots come in like two weeks. I also love it for in-between salon visits, for when I just need a quick touch up and when I can't get to the salon. And for anyone dealing with their first grays, Color Sonic is your new best friend. Your hair also feels nourished and hydrated, and the formula is free from ammonia, silicones, and phthalates. L'Oreal really kept sustainability in mind as well. Check this out. Each cartridge gives you a full head of color, but if you are just doing your roots, you can get up to three uses out of each cartridge, so what you don't use, you can save for next time. The Color Sonic device is $124.99 and the color cartridges are $29.99. You can get them online at colorsonic.com or in store at Target later this summer. All right, well, there's a new campaign out there highlighting the similarities between endangered ecosystems on Earth and the endangered ecosystems within our own bodies. Joining us now is Robin D. Moore with Rewild. Earth's ecosystems are really what sustain us. Um, they are the first line of defense against emerging disease outbreaks, uh, pandemics, climate chaos, and they provide us with everything from clean air, fresh water, food. Research shows that the populations of wildlife within these ecosystems has declined by nearly 70% since 1970. And that loss of Biodiversity can really disrupt ecosystems. But just as ecosystems of the world are made up of myriad species, the gut microbiome is made up of trillions of living, breathing bacterial species. And it's also facing a loss of biodiversity. So we've teamed up with Cultural Probiotics to really help draw attention to the similarities. Together, we're using the Protect the Gut Microbiome campaign to raise awareness of the importance of protecting biodiversity in all ecosystems, both inside and out. You can go to protectthegut.com to learn more about the campaign. Every June, two major events converge, Father's Day and graduation. These milestones mean everyone is looking for the best gifts to honor their loved ones. Here with her top tech picks is Tech Life columnist, Jennifer Jolly. Hi, Jen. Thanks so much for having me. Let's start with the latest Sony PlayStation 5. This is the most popular game console of the entire generation, so it's perfect for an entire range of dads and grads alike. You can get it with or without the disk drive, add a console cover, lots of different colors to choose from, and you can add a cool new DualSense controller in vibrant new colors as well. Plus, there are scores of new blockbuster video games for PS5 out right now, like Marvel's new Spider-Man 2. So it's truly a gift that keeps on giving. For something I find truly life-changing for dads, Lexi Hearing has new affordable over-the-counter hearing aids for the estimated one in every five men with hearing loss in America. These are their very newest B2 Plus hearing aids powered by Bose. They come in at a fraction of the cost of prescription products, plus they're tiny, discreet. You can take an in-app hearing test and get them set up just right, completely customized for different environments. Also, the charging case gives you an additional 18 hours of battery life. Simply Safe's Smart Alarm Wireless Indoor Security Camera, fabulous for peace of mind for dads and grads. Since it is wireless, it's simple to set up in any room, but here's the secret sauce. When you pair it with their Fast Protect monitoring plan, it actually helps stop crime in real time because if someone breaks in, the camera springs into action and trained monitoring agents can both see and talk to intruders via two-way audio, all while alerting police and getting you the help you need fast. This viral Renfo Active Thermo Cool Massage Gun, well, this is that handheld wonder that can actually heat up or cool down with four hot and cold settings and five different massage intensities. It can really help speed recovery, expand range of motion, and ease muscle soreness. I actually use this every single day. And they're having some big flash sales on Amazon right now. This model is normally just under $140, but you can get it up to $50 off from June 10th to the 16th, which means you can grab one for a dad, a grad, and yourself too. Okay, this last one kind of blows me away because I just found out about it myself. 
you can download the free Amazon Photos app to safeguard all those bajillions of photos that you have stored on your phone. No more worrying about losing a single shot, but it's also a hidden perk that comes with Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you get unlimited storage. This is absolutely awesome for saving and sharing your most precious moments. It organizes all your photos by years, places, people, memories, all kinds of other things that you can type in there. Then right from here, you can create photo books, you can order prints, you can order all kinds of gifts right in time for Father's Day. You guys, I uploaded 80,000 photos to this over the last week and now every new shot I take gets stored there too. Absolutely genius. You know what else is genius? Go to techish.com for more. Back to you. Hey, don't forget, if you have missed any of that information, we got it there waiting for you on our website, dailyflashshow.com. It's always open. It's waiting for you right yes, now. Yes, 24-7. We love to hear from you. There's a sound off tab on our yeah. website that'll allow you to sound off on anything we're talking about or find any stories we may have covered. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Two fixers, both lone wolves, are forced to work together when things get complicated. The man whose body they're hired to get rid of turns out to be alive. This is today's must-watch movie, Wolves. How did you get this number? I was told that if I ever needed help to call you. You're a man who can fix things. I didn't know people like you really existed. They don't. There's nobody can do what I do. <clears throat> Who are you? I'm here to take care of your problem. Who called you? We clearly have a situation here. We have decided that the only course of action is for you both to work together. No. It's not how I work. This is not how I work. <laughs> oh. It's a different thing now. It's gonna be a long night. Where'd you get the drugs? I don't know what you're talking about. Where did you get the drugs? Talk. There's an art to this you may not realize. What, the art is saying the same thing over and over? Let's see your technique. I showed you my luggage card trick. Admit it. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, fine. It was very cool. Where'd you get the drugs? How long have you been partners? You got, like, the same clothes. Guy kind of talk the same. So? Like, basically the same guy. We're not partners. For what is a man? What has he got? There are people out there who, if they suspected I knew what he knew, I knew what he knew, they would have us all killed immediately. What? I faced it all. Oh, this looks great. Man, Can't wait to see those it. two together, right? Yeah, oh, so good. That does it for the show. Y'all take care. We'll see you when we look at you. Bye bye.